Hey, I'm Jill and I am going to pack my Wandif backpack. Today, Jill and I are going to be doing a comparison between the Wandif and the Underseat Pro. And while she's packing over there, I'm going to be showing you some of the things I like about this bag. The first thing is just the quality. Uh, once you get the Underseat Pro in your hand, this thing is heavy duty. The material is heavy duty. All the zippers are YKK zippers, if that means anything to you. Um, you can see that it's kind of got this sleek outline. There's nothing that sticks out. The great thing about this bag and both bags is that it is that personal item that goes with you. It doesn't go in the overhead. It goes underneath in that footwell and it maximizes the amount of space that you can have to take stuff. You can see we're taking five pairs of socks and underwear, four shirts, three pairs of pants, uh, outer layer and a, uh, a sweater, something insulating, and then all of our um, other personal items along with us. A couple uh, other nice features. You can get it with a backpack sleeve or the laptop sleeve. So you can put your laptop in there. Um, it has this back hidden pocket on the back that also um, you can put that on another backpack. Great quality in the backpack straps and the uh, sternum strap. Everything about this backpack tells me that it's going to last for years and years and years. All right, I got it all in there. This is the Wandif. Um, some of the things that I do like about this bag, again, it fits with Spirit Airlines under the seat, take it with me. Um, it's got a nice big front pocket here so I can just put things that I need easy access to right there. Have another waterproof pocket that goes like way down in there so you could put your bathroom stuff in there or wet bathing suit on the way home. Also has this pocket. I usually put my keys here so I can find them when I get back home and then any other paperwork that I might need. But the nice thing is it's a big open spot so I can just open it right up. In here, I got two pockets, the two bathroom bags, liquids and non-liquids, and then all the clothes are in there from our 54321. Um, and there is still some room in here. I could definitely get a couple more little outfits in here if I wanted to, or a different pair of shoes if I wanted to. Um, but you do have to compromise as to what you take. And the other thing I like is that there is a nice little hidden pocket back here in the padding so I can put my passport or important paperwork in there. And then this strap either holds my backpack in or I can use this strap to set it on. If I do bring one of these puppies with me, this will fit right on it. I'll do it backwards so you can see. It's right over there. So I could set it on there if I need to. But that is the Wandif for you. Now Tim is gonna take this exact same stuff and transfer it into his Pro. What Pro is it? It's the Under Seat. Under Seat Pro, yes. And again, we've used these bags on Spirit. Um, they fit into the Spirit sizing thing. Yeah, if you go over on Spirit and they are known to check right when you're at the gate and if you go over the amount, they will charge you um, $100 to take your bag along with you. And so you want to get a bag that will definitely fit, but also you want to maximize the amount of space. Um, we're saving $120 a piece. I mean, honestly, we can get from the Minneapolis St. Paul Airport all the way to Atlanta for $50 a piece. As long as, and that's round trip, as long as we don't um, take excess amount of luggage. And the Underseat Pro and the Wandif 
are the way to save money and to travel for a lot less money than everybody else is. Now again, you're gonna compromise a little bit. You're gonna compromise the amount of um, stuff you're able to bring with you. The uh, most difficult thing that you're gonna compromise is those shoes, man. You only get one pair of shoes and that can be a, a tough thing sometimes. There we have it. Biggest difference between these bags, high quality, high organization. You get all these extra pockets that you don't get with the Under Seat Pro. So you make the decision, what would you rather have?